Hey guys, in this video tutorial, we'll be learning about IR spectroscopy. The spectroscopy is a device that is used to analyze different type of molecules, compounds, and IR is ideally used as it has the wavelength that falls between 700 nanometer to 1 millimeter. If we will see the different type of substance, as there are different wavelength like the electron has 0 0.01 picometer, the X-ray has 0 0.1 to 10 nanometer, the UV has 200 to 400 nanometer, the visible range of light has 400 to 700 nanometer, the IR has 700 nanometer to 1 millimeter, and the radio wave has 1 millimeter to 100 kilometer. As the wavelength of light increases, the energy goes decreases. This is the basic principle of IR spectroscopy. We have a source that is some metals that is used ideally heated to 1500 to 2200 Kelvin that emits IR rays that falls through the sample and the sample absorbs some sort of IR rays and there is a detector which detect the observance and the transmitted light from the sample and it is shows some graphs and using the graphs and some table data we can analyze the structure of molecule. The mechanism of IR spectroscopy is two types. Normally, normally when we give light to a molecule there is found to be two effect if the light is coming from here the molecule may be bent like this or stretch like this the bending of the molecule can be of two types symmetric and asymmetric if the both molecule have bending same ways same ways this can be symmetric and if this is different then it is non symmetric like that stretching can be of four types one is twisting like this this waving like this rocking like this and this both the sides and scissoring can be like this scissoring type the number of vibration can be calculated by using the formula 3n minus 5 and 3n minus 6 for linear and nonlinear. For example, if we will go through the structure of CO2, this is a typical structure of CO2 that has a linear structure. Then by using the formula 3n minus 5, we can calculate the number of vibration k is 4. Like that, if we will see the structure of water, this is a nonlinear molecule. So, the number of vibration can be calculated by using the formula 3n minus 6 is 3. As there is 3 molecule, this can be 3 into 3, 9 minus 6. This can be 3. Now, let's see the graph of IR spectroscopy. The typical graph of IR spectroscopy contains two regions. From this to this region, it is known as absorbance region, and from this region to this region is known as fingerprint region. Why? Uh, this region falls between 400 wave region to 1600 region. There is a clear cut waves, and the absorbance is so shown to be maximum and and in the 1600 to 400 there is maximum molecule comes falls under this and there is found to be many peaks hence it is known as fingerprint region and this is known as absorbance region as here absorbance is found to be generally more the stretching frequency has a formula that is stretching frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi c into f mu where this is this part is constant so the factor affecting the stretching frequency is generally f and mu f is your our force constant which is generally bond strength 
and this is directly proportional to wave number and inversely proportional to wavelength like that mu is reduced mass and that can be calculated by ma plus ma b divided by ma into ma b uh, which is directly proportional to wavelength and inversely proportional to wave number besides that some molecules are ir active and some are ir inactive like the homo diatom like o2 s2 these are ir inactive and like that the symmetric molecules like ch3 ch2 ch3 and has in the both side has ch3 these are also said to be ir inactive the intensity of the peak the intensity of this peak are depend upon various factors like electronegativity the electronegativity increases then the intensity is found to be increases like oxygen has more electronegativity than nitrogen and carbon it also depend on upon resonance if the resonance is more there it will be found to be double bond character and depend upon this the intensity also increases bond strength the bond strength increases then the intensity is increases as we all know the uh, triple bond has more bond strength than double bond and single bond hence the triple bond has more intensity and it also depend upon bond length and it is inversely proportional to it we know the chlorine bromine iodine if we will go through the period then the bond length will increase and if the bond length will increase the intensity will goes decrease the shape of the peak the shape of the peak is found to be two types one is broad type and one is sharp type in the observance region mostly the broad peak is found for mostly h bond and polar molecules like water and the sharp peak are found for non polar like benzene thank you for watching if it is helpful then please subscribe